Hello again. In this video we are going to show you how to refurbish the first step of your staircase, the bullnose step. This is a bullnose step comprising of a solid oak top and a veneered right. You can recognise it by its rounded edge shape. If your staircase does not have a bullnose step but a flush tread, you can skip this video and check out the next tutorial on how to refurbish your steps and riders. First step. Remove your carpet and any protruding nails or screws. It is easy to do and you can see a smaller me doing it in a strange little box. After you've removed it, you should consider painting your strings and newer post bases, also repairing any loose or squeaking treads. If you want to change your flooring too, this is the moment to do so. After ordering your bullnose step and riser, you will notice each riser comes with two different types of mouldings. One which is curved in is for the top of the riser underneath your step. The other moulding which is curved out is if you ever decide to change your flooring after renovating your stairs, these can be used to cover any gaps you may have. Each riser comes with this box section inside. For this particular staircase, we are going to need to remove it. This can be done with a few delicate blows of the hammer. Remove any remaining nail. Next you will need to decide on the position for your step and riser. There are several different ways in which you can do this, but for this staircase we have decided to keep the step inside the newel base. Keeping around a 30mm overhang from the start of the step to the start of the riser. In this instance we are going to need to trim some of the corner of the original bullnose step. You can now proceed to measure and cut your step and riser. After cutting your step and riser, try them for fit. If you have any gaps between your riser and step, don't worry as your mouldings will cover this. For securing your riser in place, add some blocks of wood. These can be secured with either screws or brads. It's now time to fit your step and riser in place. We're going to be using some polymer adhesive and some brads. Finish up by adding your mouldings. Don't forget it's the one that's curved in that goes underneath the step. Also if you have any gap between your step and your riser, don't worry as this will be covered when we add our first riser for the next step. It's now time to sit back and relax. Have a cup of tea or coffee, you've just finished fitting your bullnose step. 
Check out our website and our YouTube channel for the next video on how to refurbish the remaining steps and risers. The first thing we need to decide is if you're going to play football. Come <laughs> on, please. Abracadabra. Ta da!